Hey everyone, it's Ryan. Welcome back to the Syntax Byte. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a browse file, uh, you know, text box and dialogue setup in user forms uh, for VBA. So I'm just going to be pasting the file name in this cell here on the sheet, but you could do whatever you want. A recent use case I had for this was I had a user form and inside the form, I wanted the person to be able to select a file, which would then later be attached to an email as part of my macro flow. So uh, there's there's lots of uses where you may need to get a file from the user uh, and you may wanna present that UI from within a user form. Uh, and so if that's what you'd like to do, I'm gonna show you how to do that today. So the first thing we need to do is get our user form created. So I'm just gonna go and insert a user form. And so that's how we get that all set up. And so here I have user form. I'm, I'm fine with it being called user form one. I'm just gonna name it, uh, add the caption, select file. Uh, so I'm gonna add a couple things. Now, uh, it doesn't have necessarily explicitly a, uh, a browse file option. You'll see there that you won't find a browse file component right here. But that's okay because we can basically put together our own browse file component using just a text box and a browse button. And then we can just open the browse window and make sure that you know we fill the text box with the file name and then we take the file name from the text box. That's essentially gonna be our flow. So I'm gonna start by adding a text box right here and a command button right here. And my command button, I'm gonna say browse dot 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 helps look more legit if we spell it right. Um, so I'm gonna call that one browse button. Again, better to spell it right. So that's browse button. This is text box. I'm gonna say um, file text box. The other thing I would like to do is add a label, uh, which will tell me if the file path is valid or not. So you can just add that. Um, I'm gonna call it file valid label and I'm not going to give it any initial caption and then I will add a command button uh, called valid button and then we'll just say it is valid and so we can click this and it will tell us if the path that we've typed in or browsed for is a valid file and I'll show you how to check that that is a valid file um, in just a second so now we've pretty much designed my UI. Uh, yours might look a little bit better and you might have other use cases on your user form. So you might have, you know, you might have cancel and close buttons, but I feel like that's not the focus of the video. So for us, this, this will do just, just fine. So the next thing to do is go ahead and hop over to the code. What I want to start with is my browse button and I want to start with uh, a, a click on the browse button. And so what I'm gonna do in here is, first of all, I'm gonna define a result. That's gonna be the result of browsing for the file. Then I'm gonna say result is equal to application.get open file name. And you can give it a file filter. So I'm gonna do text files star.txt. And then that's star.txt. Um, if you don't get, if you don't give anything, like if you just go like, uh, like that, you'll just end up with, uh, all files, which may be what you want. Um, so in this case, uh, this is going to basically just open the file dialog and give the user an option to select. Uh, perhaps if you're watching this video, you would be pleasantly surprised by how easy that is. Um, and just do note that you can call this from anywhere. So it doesn't have to be within a user form. Um, if you just want to open the dialog box, you can, you can do that from any macro. You don't necessarily need a user form. In my case though, uh, a couple nice things about the user form. Number one, you give the person the ability to paste in a file path so that they don't necessarily have to browse for the file. They can just paste in a file path if they want. Um, and, um, you, you give the person the, the ability to edit it with the text. And then of course you can integrate it with anything else in your user form. So. Uh, it doesn't just randomly pop up a a file box, you know, maybe even have multiple files that you want them to browse for. So sometimes it provides a cleaner UI if you can do this from within your user form and provide a browse file um, 
sort of component there. So the next thing to do is say if result is not equal to false, then uh, yeah, we need a then. Uh, we are going to change our file text box dot text equal to the result, and so I'm just going to put that in my text box. That's where I'm going to going to store that. Um, so at this point, we should basically be able to just actually save that. And if we go back over here, I'll, I've got a quick sub here for launch form. I'll do user form one dot show. I mean, test this out. So if we go here, you can see we have a browse. You can see it's showing for text files. And then um, if I go to my desktop, I have a file, some text.txt. And I can just click open. And you can see it pastes the file path there. So the next thing we want to do is, is actually validate that file name and make sure that it's valid because I could type anything in here right now. Um, and if we try and pass that to whatever we're trying to pass the file path to, it might not work. So that's not really good. Uh, so we need to go ahead and make sure that that file path is actually valid. So to do that, I'm going to create a function called is file valid. It's going to take a path as string and it's going to return a boolean about whether the file is valid or not. And so this is pretty simple. All we need to do is say if there's a function called dir, which will return the uh, directory basically, um, file text box dot text. Uh, sorry, no. Uh, we want to do the path that's here. So uh, if if that path is not equal to an empty string and and path is not equal to an empty string, then because this will return true um, if you give it an empty string for whatever reason. So if that's the case, we say is file valid equals true, else is file valid equals false. And that's all there is to it. So at this point, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my little is file valid um, thing. So if I go to valid button, and I'll say, if is file valid um, file text box dot text then I'll say valid what is it called file valid label caption equals valid and then otherwise we'll do else file valid label dot caption equals not valid and if so that should do that and then the final thing to do would be uh, doing the close but we'll test this out So if I go is valid, it says not valid. If I go ahead and select that file, and I say valid, it says valid. We'll just delete a character, not valid. We can put it back, we're valid again. So that's all good. Um, that's how we can validate the file. So the final thing is when I'm close this, I'm just gonna put the file name into B1 if it's valid, uh, but you could do whatever you want uh, with that. So let's just finish this off by doing that. So let's do user form and we'll do terminate. And we'll basically do the same thing that we did in the valid button click, except with different bodies of the if statement. So uh, if we actually don't even need the else, we'll just say if it's valid, then sheet one dot range, B1 
dot value is equal to file text box dot text. And so there we go. And now when I so when I when I don't do anything, it doesn't do anything. But when I browse to a valid file and close it, it pastes the file path there. So I hope that video was helpful, uh, learning how to make a browse file interface in user forms. Uh, it's really not that complicated, even though it'd be nice if they had just a component that would sort of do this for you, um, allowing people to type and, and browse for a file. Because they do allow you to open the, the file browse box, that would have been the tough part. Um, it's relatively easy to get something set up. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Like it if you uh, liked it or you know enjoyed it or it helped you out. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you're interested in more Excel VBA videos. And I'll catch you in the next one.